of states or government. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor and privilege for me to take the floor as the voice of Europe before you in Ethiopia, the land of origins and the cradle of the last Nobel Peace Prize. Congratulations again, dear Abi Hamed. It's with deep pleasure that I return to this continent for which I have so much affection. I am here today to bear witness to a metamorphosis of this continent, but also that of Europe. Your northern neighbor is changing. I am here tonight to speak for 27 European countries. 22 of them never had any colonies. A new generation of leaders is coming to power. They are not hampered by the burden of nostalgia. We want to look towards the future and to our neighbors. We want to tackle climate change and the digital revolution, the two major challenges we are all facing. Europe wants to speak up on the international stage where its values inspire its actions. Ladies and gentlemen, this changing Europe is looking at Africa with fresh eyes, with respect, optimism, and confidence. Africa is vibrant, full of the energy of youth, and it is buzzing with new technology. A continent of opportunities, that's what Europe sees, for a long time. Europe remains trapped in an outdated view of this continent. Africa, too, has at times cultivated a kind of ambiguity in its relationship with Europe. Our closeness connects us. Our partnership is a rich one. Everything draws us towards one another, history, geography, culture, and many exchanges between us Europe is your partner for trade, investment, cooperation, and development. But this partnership is no longer enough. It needs to be reinvented. We must build a new house to accommodate our many common interests. And we must write a new chapter together. Mesdames et Messieurs, je souhaiterais profiter de cette tribune qui m'est offerte pour paraphraser Nelson Mandela. Nos choix doivent toujours refléter non pas nos craintes, nos peurs, nos angoisses, mais bien nos espoirs, nos espérances. Avec l'Afrique, l'Europe veut parler dorénavant de capital économique et humain, de commerce, d'emploi, d'investissement, de secteurs privés, d'infrastructures. L'Europe souhaite, avec l'Afrique, que écrire les nouvelles pages pour un avenir optimiste, positif. Je crois profondément qu'une Europe forte est bonne pour l'Afrique et une Afrique solide est bonne pour l'Europe. Je le dis avec solennité, je souhaite mettre l'Europe au rendez-vous. C'est une priorité pour moi, comme nouveau président du Conseil européen. Nous sommes à l'aube d'une nouvelle décennie. Nous sommes prêts à échanger, à partager et à coopérer. Je vous souhaite... Et je nous souhaite le meilleur. Merci.